channel. So today we're doing a Mother's Day special because it's the holidays coming up, it's Mother's Day. So today we're gonna be making a cauliflower mahi mahi bowl. So let's get cooking, let's get inside and cook. So this is the recipe for the fish taco bowls. The fish that I chose to cook is mahi mahi. I bought the store bought frozen and I just washed it out, clean it, divine it a little bit. And the season, of course, I like tons of lemon in on my fish and onion powder. We're going to do some Emerald Lagasse all-purpose seasoning, garlic lovers, everything seasoning. Now these um these seasoning I buy online Himalayan sea salt adobo of course and black pepper now I'm going to go ahead and squeeze all the lemon juice on the fish like I said I like tons of lemon now I'm going to add some black pepper and sea salt And now I'm going to add the everything seasoning. I like lots and lots of this. And we're going to add the garlic lovers. And some onion powder. And the all purpose seasoning to give it a nice little texture, a smoky texture, and of course adobo. And I'm just going to let it sit for like two or three minutes before I start pan frying it. Okay, so now my fish has been sitting for a little bit and now I'm going to put it in the cast iron and let it cook on both sides for about five minutes because you don't want to overcook the fish. Also put it on low heat. And I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit more of lemon juice on the back of the fish and the front in a few. But like I said, cook the fish on low heat. Okay, and I like to cut in between the fish a little bit so it can cook thoroughly. You can also, just to check and see if it has any uncooked parts, like right there, there's a little bit of uncooked parts, so you just leave it to cook for like five more minutes. Okay, so my fish is already cooked inside. You can actually check in between and it's fully cooked. Now I'm going to go ahead and put them on a plate to get ready to put them on the taco bowl. See you guys in a minute. Okay, so I have some leftover cauliflower that I cooked the other day. So now I'm just going to toss it in this pan and cook it up as cilantro lime rice. And you can cook this on low heat since it's already cooked. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some sea salt on here and let it cook for about five to 10 minutes. Actually, no, five minutes. And now I'm just going to squeeze half of a lime to give it that lime flavor. So I just took my cauliflower and put it in a bowl. And now I'm going to take all the cilantro and put it inside and stir it up. So I put some cauliflower in this bowl and we're going to put the fish on top at the corner. And to nice the bowl up, we're going to use yum yum sauce. Now I have some shredded cabbage and I have, and I washed it and I put vinegar, three teaspoon of sugar and lemon juice. So it gives it like a pickle flavor when you put it inside of the bowl. I'm gonna put this much. Now I'm going to add avocado to give it a nice creamy texture. And I also bought some store-bought pico, which of course you can get at any store, any grocery store. And you could just put like maybe a teaspoon and a half. I like a lot of pico. Now I did some pickled onions, um, similar to the cabbage. If you want a recipe on this, you can leave a comment below, but this is my secret recipe. And to top it off with a delicious sauce, I'm going to use yum yum sauce. And you're just going to drizzle a little bit. We're not gonna overdo it. But you know what, let's overdo it because it's gonna taste good. And now we're going to add some cilantro for garnish. <music> Make sure to subscribe.
subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. The recipe will be down below in the description box. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you.